Okay, so welcome to module four, um, SAM project 1A, Felix's finances. Kept recording this thing over and over again, and I ended up saying screw it and got a whole new software um, to be able to record this video because the other ones have been really bad, and I'm really sorry about that. But let's just basically get through it and just get this done. Okay, so combined income 2018 to 2021 chart. Uh, the tile border with blue accent. Let's just one second. What we're going to do immediately is start off by clicking the border. And the border is going to be a solid line. We're just going to make sure. Okay, format. Okay, solid line. And the color is automatically just going to go to blue accent one. Keep it that way. And then we're going to do an offset bottom. So we're going to go shadow, precess, offset bottom, by outer. Okay. So we got that. Uh, then we are going to move them over here. We are going to go plus. We're going to go to grid lines. Move the major vertical and apply the major horizontal. Okay, and then we are going to add an axis. We're going to add primary vertical over here. Shoink, click it. And then over here we are going to type amount dollar sign and hit enter. We're going to change the font. Oops. Leave me alone. So stop. Oh, God, okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to change the spot to Vedana, Dana, I don't know how to pronounce it, 11, and that's going to be the amount there. So, we're simply done with this, and we're going to move on to the expenses one. So, we have the 3D pie chart, and the chart title is going to be Total Expenses 2018 to 2021 by category. All right. And apply style 10 chart over here. So here we are just going to click the paintbrush and go to style 10 right at the bottom. And so I'm going to save it as that. So we're going to double click you're going to double click this and then you're just going to double click um, the blue the giant one and for point explosion I'm going to quickly move that to 15% so it goes out 15% that will save us that right, and that will just be that basically go move on to budget okay so we have this over here. This is going to be moved out to G2. We're going to move this to R21. So this little area is going to be R21 over here and then G2 is going to be end up at G21. Very simple. Okay. Uh, so the cluster column chart, this chart, you're going to rename it Expenses 2018 to 2021 by category, enter, it's done. Then over here we have this little thing, just click on the legend, and you're going to click legend move it to the bottom. Go grid line, then go legend, click arrow, hit bottom, that's what's going to save us. Uh, so they want this column over here to match all this, so just click the column, it doesn't matter which one. Go and hit paintbrush, color, hmm, my bad. <laughs> Alright, just basically double click it and then just go to fill and go to standard color or if you want to 
just hit, just right click it, and then it'll do the same thing over here. Of course. One second. Fill. Make sure that all of it is filled, not just this one, like all of it has to be filled. <laughs> okay. Uh, so select A25 to E26. A25 to E26. And we're going to quickly create a pie chart from here. We're going to select it all, and then this little thing is going to come up, click it, hit pie chart. You saw what I did. Okay, so let's update the pie chart from amount saved to 2018 to 2021 savings. As that, we're going to move this. So this top area is going to be at G22. Doesn't matter where it's located, as long as it's located within G22. And then the lower right corner to M35. So we're going to move this to M. Thirty-five. Just ensuring it is correct. And that's basically all you have to do. Save it as your name. File, save. Uh, when you download it, it's probably going to download one. So you're just going to um, change that one over here to save as that and then uh, just upload it as that. Basically, very simple. And yeah, thank you for listening.